Look at the H1 freeway at the Ward Avenue camera. Oh, no, let's go back to it if we can. We want to say if you're coming into town from the Eva side, consider another route if possible. There it is. All those red brake lights that you see on the right. Those are vehicles in the eastbound lanes waiting to exit the freeway to make room for a roadwork project that will last four months. All right. Hello again. For several months, state crews have been managing to keep at least one lane open for this resurfacing project, but not anymore. The overnight work will now require the entire shutdown of those eastbound lanes. Our Jolani Martinez is live with the detours. Jolani. That's right, Kiahi Steph. We're live here on the Ward Street overpass. But take a look at the H1 freeway if you're heading eastbound. There's a sea of red lights, and all these cars are waiting to take the detour off Punahou Street. Drivers we spoke with say they're waiting in this traffic for at least 25 to 30 minutes. The repaving project started in November. Hawaii's Department of Transportation says it's one of the most busiest roadways with over 125,000 trips made daily. The state says all eastbound lanes are closed for the contractor's safety. That work needs to be done at night just for safety's sake for our contractors. It, it really is. It's difficult to just have lane closures on a freeway uh, with the speeds that uh, the cars uh, go. There is only one detour. Drivers are being rerouted to Punahou Street. From there, you make a right, go down a couple of lights, then make a left onto King Street, which has between four to five lanes. Some people don't mind the detour. Others say it takes some time to get to that off-ramp. It seems to move pretty good, and it's late at night, so I haven't had it. This is a little detour, but that's all right. Kind of crazy, lots of waiting. Um, everything's kind of like towards bumper to bumper when you reach by, um, like I want to say the near punch bowl off ramp, like that area is where it starts. It's about 11 o'clock during a weekday. You don't expect it at that time because everybody would be at work or anything, but um, I get stuck in that truck maybe half an hour. Not that bad, but still pretty bad. The closure begins at 8.30 in the evening through 4.30 in the morning. It will go on through this Friday. The state says they plan to finish resurfacing by May. For more info on how you can sign up for updates on no, no, work and lane closures, head to our website. And again, we just want to show you just how crazy it looks right now. You can see there's um, first responders trying to get through this traffic, through that sea of red lights. And like we said earlier when we spoke to drivers, it's taking them between 25 to 30 minutes just to get to the Punahou Street off-ramp. Yeah, Jolani, I'll jump in if you can hear me. Obviously, this is an area with most of our major hospitals in town. So here we are seeing firsthand this ambulance trying to weave through this sea of vehicles. It's really difficult when you're in a parking lot situation like that to find room to pull out of the way for first responders like that. That ambulance is slow going, trying to weave through that crowd. Uh, so a good example of what we're gonna be facing here overnights, Mondays through Thursdays, for the next few months, hopefully the state officials are watching this. And if there are any changes to be made, they'll consider that. Jolani Martinez, live at the scene. Thanks so much.